In this video, I'm going to be discussing installing Linux on PCs that have the secure boot feature. In case you're unfamiliar, secure boot is a feature built into the UEFI firmware of PCs that checks a bootloader's signature using a signing key installed in the firmware to ensure that the bootloader hasn't been tampered with. The idea is to prevent malware from tampering with the boot process. The problem is that many Linux distributions bootloaders aren't signed with the signing key installed in PC's UEFI firmware, which is owned by Microsoft and used to sign Windows. Pretty much any PC with a UEFI BIOS is going to have secure boot, with limited exceptions. And pretty much any PC bought within the last 10 years is going to have a UEFI BIOS. One way to get around this is to just simply use a distribution that supports secure boot natively in the first place. I know Ubuntu and Linux Mint both do, so secure boot usually won't cause issues on these distributions. However, you will still run into issues if you need to run unsigned drivers, which wouldn't be loaded at all with secure boot enabled. Now, if you do need to run unsigned drivers or you are using a distribution that doesn't support secure boot, like Pop! OS or Manjaro, then you'll need to disable secure boot in your BIOS settings. To do this, you will need to get into your BIOS setup utility by mashing a key on startup, usually escape, F2, F12, or delete. Once you're there, look for an option called secure boot and disable that. Now, every PC slash motherboard is going to be different, but it'll usually be under either the boot or security settings of your BIOS. If you don't see that option anywhere, then your PC probably doesn't support secure boot. And in that case, you don't need to do anything. Finally, be sure to apply your changes by selecting the save and exit option, usually under the exit menu in BIOSes. Now, if you don't want to disable secure boot for whatever reason, a third option would be to add a custom signing key to your UEFI firmware. Some Linux distributions may sign their bootloaders with their own signing key, which you can add to your UEFI firmware. Now, this is pretty rare. If it's even a thing that's done at all, I have yet to come across a distribution that does this. There are a few PCs out there, in particular, Acer Aspire laptops that will allow you to mark a bootloader as trusted for executing so that it will run even if it is unsigned. But again, this is pretty rare. Of course, depending on how involved you're willing to get, you could also create your own signing key, sign your bootloader with that, and add that signing key to your UEFI firmware. Now, I'm not gonna go over how to do that in this video because that process is pretty cumbersome and really only for the advanced user, so that's beyond the scope of this video. And that's it for this video. Be sure to give it a like if you liked it, dislike if you disliked it, comment, share, subscribe, all that good stuff, and see you next time.